I was in this movie called Blow that was with uh, oh, yeah. Johnny Depp, yeah, right? Yeah, and Blow. Penelope Cruz and yeah. stuff. Okay. And Johnny is calling Bull on actress Lola Guardini's claim of what happened on set of Blow back in the year 2000. Johnny Depp has this monologue that he does back and forth, back and forth. And after a couple takes, Ted Demi comes over to me and he's like, okay, Lola. Ted Demi would be the director of the film. When he says this certain word, you know, he gives me a cue and he says, I want you to just like burst out laughing like she just told you the funniest thing over here. Lola told the story on the Powerful Truth Angels podcast earlier this month. In Blow, Lola played Rada, the girlfriend of Max Perlick's character. And Lola's apparently just been giving direction to laugh during Johnny Depp's monologue. I hear the cue, I burst out laughing. Johnny Depp, when they say cut, walks over to me. He walks over and he goes, comes up to me, he sticks his finger in my face. And I'm in a bikini on the ground like this. And he comes over and he goes, who the f do you think you are? Who the f do you think you are? Shut the f up. Now Samuel Sarkar, the sound technician on the film has released a statement in regards to this saying, as a sound person, you're constantly listening to what is going on on set listening for noises, listening for chatter. In fact, specifically, I would listen to Johnny's audio to check for interference, both during rehearsals and during the take. I never heard anything like that. That would have been a remarkable event. I'm out here and I'm trying to say my lines and you're pulling focus, you idiot. Who the do you think, oh now? Oh now it's not so funny? Now you can shut up? Johnny's rep made a statement to Variety saying, Johnny always prioritizes good working relationships with cast and crew and this recounting differs greatly from the recollection of other members on set at the time. Yeah, I've never told the story publicly. Lola says the director didn't fess up to giving her that direction. Ted Demi, RIP, did not come over and say anything. Oh, he shit. did not say, hey, Johnny, listen, you know what? Actually, I gave her that oh. direction. And Lola says Johnny did address the incident with her later that day. And he gave me a non-apology apology. Right. You know, and he's like, you know, so earlier I was like really in my head and I was staying in character and I was really like, you know, I'm doing this Boston accent and it's really f with me. And so, you know, I'm just like a little tense and stuff. <laughs> my Boston accent is f with yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, I hate and, that. yeah. And, uh, you know, so I just wanted to make sure that, you know, we're cool and everything. Now, this does not need to be a he said, she said. Samuel says he didn't hear it. But I mean, he's worked with Johnny several times, so I wouldn't necessarily take him as a, you know, an unbiased witness. But I mean, Johnny didn't whisper this to Lola, you know, under his breath. He yelled this. So we're talking 25 to 50 people would have heard Johnny yell at Lola. So that's why I don't need to weigh in on whether or not I think Johnny yelled at Lola. Because I mean, yeah, there's, I don't need to give my opinion because it's easily verifiable. Yeah, there's tons of witnesses for that. So yeah, just ask any of those 25 to 50 people. We have one that says it didn't happen. But yeah, that's not something that needs to be debated whether or not Johnny yelled at her. Yeah, there's people that can verify that story. The element that I have questions about is... Ted Demi giving her that direction. Of course, Ted has passed away in 2002, so can't ask him. And background and action, Derek. There's many things about that that not only do I find unusual, but I find illogical. Like in general, background performers are silent because once an editor is splicing together a scene across multiple takes, especially for a monologue, that you don't want there to be you know, you know there be huge differences in the audio in the background. You want it to be all consistent. So that's why you don't have performers in the background making noise. So yeah, they all stay silent. They're just mouthing that they're making noise. And that's not up to Lola to explain. I just find, yeah, that's a very, very odd thing. Uh, I, can, I can't even really comprehend why, he, why Ted would do that. Ted Demi comes over to me and he's like, okay, Lola. <clears throat> when he is... Now, Lola's reenactment makes it seem like Ted said this to her very quietly or took her to the side and said this. That's illogical to me too, because it's not meant to surprise Johnny. Like, why would he take her side and like, say this secretly? And at the very, very least, uh, Lola says there's three actresses or two other actresses with her. One of the actresses has to pretend to say something to Lola to prompt this laugh. So one of the actresses would have heard Ted say that, and surely the other actress heard her say that as well. And then beyond that, depending on how far Ted was away from her when he gave her that direction, other people heard this, like a grip, a makeup artist, a wardrobe assistant, a production assistant, an extra, another actor, other people would have heard Ted give that direction. So yeah, once again, this is verifi verifiable. It's not as big of a circle as hearing Johnny yell at her, but I mean, yeah, other people would have heard Ted give her this direction. And then there's another aspect that I just find, it's certainly possible, but I find, wow, that's really, really surprising, is that no one spoke up for Lola. And this, this is not speaking up against Johnny Depp and saying, hey, Johnny, don't treat her like that. It's saying Ted told her to give that direction. Like, it just, it's getting Lola off the hook. Like, I'm surprised even Lola didn't say that in a moment, saying, because that seems like a natural human thing to do. If someone's yelling at you and you're not the you know, person at fault, you'd say, even if it's Johnny Depp, you'd say, you know, Ted told me to say that. I'm not blaming Lola, but... 
especially the people around her, like the other actresses. Why would the other, you're not getting yelled at by Johnny Depp? And Johnny Depp is not going to turn to you if you say, "Johnny, Ted told her to do that." Johnny's not going to turn to you and start you know, yelling and expletives at you. He's going to his anger is going to go towards Ted then. So it's just really surprising in terms of just the human behavior that no one you know, spoke up, even not even in that moment. Afterwards, no one said anything to Johnny Depp. Um, so that's just disappointing behavior. And once again, that's not lowest dance to do. I just find that surprising. But yeah, there's all these things I find, well, wow, it's really, um, yeah, it just goes against logic for me in terms of take, giving her that direction, in terms of no one speaking up for her, in terms of no one else hearing this. It just it doesn't make sense to me. It was the, my first studio movie that I did. The very first day I show up on set, Day one. What does make sense to me is that Ted gave her that direction, but Lola didn't realize that she's not supposed to actually make an audible noise in her mouth when she's pretending to laugh. Yeah, he's talking in the foreground yeah. and, and we're in the background like being the lovely babes or whatever. Yeah, background performers, you see in every TV show and any movie, yeah, they're pretending to talk and pretending to laugh. They're not making any noise. I hear the cue and, and I go, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I do a big laugh or whatever. So that's why no one spoke up for Lola in that moment, because yeah, she was in the wrong. I mean, the more experienced actor would have known that. You don't make noise. Like, look, my first two times on set, I got yelled at. The first time was a ridiculous reason. Um, the second time, someone asked me to get sticks. I went looking, what are sticks? I don't know what sticks are. It ended up being a tripod. But yeah, I got yelled at because I didn't know what that was because it's my first time on set. Yeah, whatever it happens. Um, I'm not, and I'm not justifying Johnny yelling at her to that extent. And once again, I don't need to debate whether or not Johnny yelled at her to that extent or not because yeah, we have witnesses. It is certainly justifiable that Johnny would be mad that he's delivering a monologue and there's this actress laughing in the background, ruining the take. And he's frustrated because he's trying to say this monologue. He's absolutely justified in being mad. He's absolutely justified in saying something to her. To that degree, no. Now you can f***ing shut the f*** up? Oh, it's not funny now. Okay, the quiet that you are right now, that's how you f***ing stay. But I don't need to debate whether or not he yelled at her to that extent or not. There's witnesses that, um, yeah, can verify that. But yeah, what do you think of the story that Lola told?